You know, it's a real pleasure to be here with Mike Nicolette, who is not only a veteran of the industry, but very much a veteran of Ping, very involved in research and development and engineering. And Mike, you had a real specific hand in the S56 iron, which mm -hmm. has realized a lot of success out on tour recently. Tell me a little bit about the evolution of that golf club. Well, the, if you want the evolution of the golf club, we, we go back to the S59, which was uh, obviously about four generations ago. Uh, technology's taken us a long way from there. And uh, as far as like the forgiveness factor on the golf club, I got to think that the MOI relative to uh, the S59 is probably close to 15% higher. So we're really getting good on the forgiveness factor, even for a smaller blade. And I think that really lends itself to um, out on the tour, you know, the guys, as good as they are, they still continually miss a shot here or there. So you want to make the most forgiveness you can. But the unique thing about the S56 is the workability of the club. We made it extremely workable because typically what happens is you drive the, the forgiveness factor up, the MOI about the CG, uh, your MOI about the shaft axis also goes up, which means that it's a little more difficult to work. So you, it's harder to turn it over, it's harder to hold it off because once the club starts, it wants to continue to go. So we were able to create a club for a player that he really has the ability to work the ball, uh, you know, a little fade, draws, everything's very easy but still very forgiving. Do you guys tend to not have turnovers in product cycles quite as much as some of the other companies do? You, you really have to find a reason, the right reason, to launch a, a new set of irons. What's the challenge there in, in, in that for you? Well, really, it, it's I'm motivated with the products that I work on because I use those products and, and being a fairly decent player myself, I'm always looking for a better and easier way to get the ball to go from point A to point B. So I have some personal motivation there, but I, I, I really liked the fact that every product we come out with is better than our previous product. In some way, shape, or form, the performance is better. Uh, we, we are not a marketing-driven company. There are other companies in the industry that uh, I think their performance might stay very similar but they can market it really well. We, we don't go down that road. We always try to make the performance better so that the golfer can actually realize, you know, some more success out on the golf course. What can you tell us about the new K line? The K is our, our newest offering, and the way I like to say it is this, is that the K, we have uh, what we call straight flight technology. It's got some internal weighting to it that allows the club to square up very, very easily. And so as you go through our clubs, the K line would be the easiest to square up, the G the next easiest, and then the I line of clubs is, is geared more for your straight flight to maybe even a fade bias, someone who wants to stay away from a draw. So that being uh, the case, it's extremely forgiving. It's got a huge surface area on the face, which means you can hit all over the face and still get good energy transfer into the ball because the inertia is so good. So anybody that's looking for a very, very forgiving club that's easy to square up, this is the club for them. Now listen, this this guy, he, he seems very mild-mannered, doesn't he? Very mild-mannered. Do not put your money on the golf course with this guy. He'll okay. take it and never look back. Very, very fine player. Mike Nicolette, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Casey.